Hello everybody, Lady Gear to you here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword. In the previous video, we were introduced to the Gratitude Crystal, and today we're going to be going into the next area of the game. Hooray! Let's go into the light, the magical red light of death. Master, this is Elder Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the earth. Hey, I can see my house from here! Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in extreme heat and direct flame. These ex exercises cost from thermal materials such as wood and fabric. In the event that you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. No way! I like being on fire! I'm not a pyromaniac. So now we are in the Elden Volcano. Oh yeah. Um so what we're gonna be doing throughout this area is well we're gonna be searching for Zelda and stuff, but um there is a goddess cube over here that I'm gonna do collect real quick. Activate the magical squares. There's actually a lot of goddess cubes in this area that we're gonna be getting um over the next couple of videos. The treasure chest that was activated from that goddess cube um, is located in the southern part of Skyloft beyond an island called Fun Fun Island. Fun Fun Island has a side quest that we're going to be taking care of in a little, in a couple of videos. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head when exactly we can take care of it, but I'm just, but just keep in mind that there's a place called Fun Fun Island that has a side quest and this treasure chest is located beyond that island. And we get the small seed satchel. This increases the emanation we have with the slink dot. Now that we activated the goddess cube, we're gonna be going over here real quick. This is not the area we, area we need to go to. Um, there's a bug over here that I want to go get real quick. Um, like with like I said, like I said before, um, uh, whenever I get a new bug or a new material or anything like that, um, I'm going to be uh, posting in the description below where you can find um, all the locations in the game you can find that uh, type of bug or material. And we capture some ladybugs. Ladybugs are evil. They're the most evil thing ever. But if I try to stay right there, um, it's not important, he's just going to be reminding you how to change your dousing targets. It's not important at all, because at this point you should already know how to change it. You just hold the C, you just hold the C button and then point towards the target you want to switch to. Whoa, you're not- Yo, Lead, I don't think this is one of those re those red creeps. Yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hell off us, though. Yo. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up uh, and messing with our turf have got me on edge. They stood up here, and I'm going to knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, me, Lead. <gasps> yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared of Day in the Dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. But I'm not looking for treasure, you ding dong. Anywho, um, like I said a moment ago, there's a lot of goddess cubes in this area that uh, we're gonna be getting over the next couple of videos. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, some goddess cubes, um, the rewards that the goddess cubes uh, activate, we won't be able to get for a little while. So, if you see me. Get a goddess cube, but uh, not get the treasure. The reason why is because we cannot get to that treasure yet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing about that when we actually get the treasure. 
What I'm thinking of doing is that when I get the treasure in a future video, what I might do is that I might put an annotation on screen showing you where that goddess keep is activated. Not 100% sure if I'm going to do this because I hate using annotations. Um, but it might be something I, I it might be something um, I would do at some point in the future. I understand annotations do have their uses. Um, like uh, at the end of a video where as an annotation to take you to the next video, but I just, I've, I've never really been a fan of using annotations. I've only used a few of them over the course, over, um, the course of me, uh, being, using this YouTube channel. Um, I've just never really used annotations that much. The only times I've ever really used them was when that there's a note that I want, was when there's something that I wanted to mention in a video that I forgot to write, that I forgot to talk about while recording, and I forgot to put a caption um, and I forgot to write a caption about editing and stuff like that. That guy right there, he's gonna be explaining these, what these bomb, what these, what these things do. These are bomb flowers. Um, you might be thinking, well, gee, you, the bombs are pretty limited in this game. I mean, you can only, if you can only use them at certain points. That is not the case. Um, but we don't exactly have the bomb bag. We don't have the bomb bag yet. Um, but we will be able to get it eventually. Um, just right now. Um, we can only use them at certain points in the area. I kind of, I, I, um, I know some people might think that's dumb that you can only use them at certain points before you can get the bomb bag, but I actually think this is kind of a good, this is kind of a unique idea, um, because um, it teaches people how to use it before they can get unlimited supply, before they can get, um, before they can use it whenever they want. Like for example, um, if you wanted to. I, I just think it's a really cool idea. I can't really think of an example, but um, but I think it's I think it's a good idea to teach the to teach the player how to properly use the item before uh, before freeing them across the overworld to use the item whenever they want. And there's another gas cube over here, which we're going to destroy with our sword beams of awesomeness. The treasure chest that that goddess cube activated is in the northern part of Skyloft. Um, I think it is in between the uh, Bamboo Island and Beetles Island. Um, you'll see what I mean when we explore more of the Skyloft in the next couple of videos. Not in the next video, but in a couple in a couple of videos from now when we're going to be exploring more of Skyloft. When, when we're going to be exploring more of the sky. And we get a silver ruby! So now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be going over here so that we can get some, so that we can get some more stuff. There's another bug over here that I want to go get real quick, but first, we're going to blow stuff up. I said we're going to blow stuff up. Stupid A button, not wanting to work. So this right here is the bug that, um, this one is pretty irritating to get to. You may notice that some bugs run away quicker than others uh, when you get close to them. This is because some bugs are actually sensitive to to humans and stuff like that. Um, and what that means is that if you get too close to it, and it no, it jumped off a ledge. That bug had so much to live for. I would never be able to get that bug again. No. I'm lying. <laughs> we are going to be getting there. There are going to be more spots in this area where we can get that bug. Um, some bugs are more sensitive to Link than other ones. What that means is that if you walk too close to it, and if you if you're too close to it without walking, then it's going to run away in another direction. So, what you want to do is that you want to walk slowly towards them and then capture them. You want to be very careful because moving the butterfly net too fast will cause them to run away. Um, and you're gonna be chasing them for like hours trying to get that stupid bug. Can I please blow up this enemy? Oh, speaking of which, there's an enemy right here. <laughs> um, this enemy, um, what you want to do is that you want to throw bombs at it. Um, it, when, it blow, when it's blowing fire like that, you can't really get past it. Um, so you need to use your bombs to get past it. Uh, to blow it up and stuff. Not all those enemies will hide in, ca in hide inside caves. Um, coming up, we'll see some of them hiding in like cells or something like that. 
There's another blue. There's another blue moblin bandana dude right there that we're going to be attacking. When I was practicing, when I was practicing for this area, um, my sister Cordigly, she was watching me play through this area, um, and she looked at those at the clubs that the moblins were holding, and she was pointing out how painful those would be, um, if uh, if Link actually did get hit by them, and um, when you really think about it, a lot of these weapons uh, would be really painful to, uh, would be really painful um, in real life, and I'm pretty sure they're real life equivalents to a lot of these weapons. Like, obviously the clubs are based off clubs because that's where they're called clubs. Right here is an example where I was talking about a moment ago, where some of those fire breathing enemies would hide inside cells. Um, when that happened, you wanted to throw the bomb upwards into the hole on top of them. Um, unlike most other Zelda games, that you can actually see where your aim, where you, you can actually see where you're going to be throwing the bomb, which is very useful. Because something that drives me, because something that kind of annoys me in most other 3D Zelda games, um, especially Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, um, was that you couldn't really was that if you were trying to was that if you're trying to throw a bomb, um, it was a little difficult to aim. But with this game, you can actually see where you're aiming, which is very useful. Another thing you want to be careful about with the bugs is that sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, you can actually squish them. If you run across them, if you run across a bug, um, you will actually squish them, which uh, which means that you will not be able to collect them because they'd be dead at that point. So you want to be careful with them. Bugs are your friends. Inside the hut over there is another chair if you're playing on ears mode and you need a place to rest. But I, something I really want to know is, is if it's possible to catch up to this guy right here and, and defeat him before he gets into the cell. I've never been able to do that on my own. Um, I'm pretty sure it is possible, but I've just never been able to do it. And we just try that. Wah. There's a heart piece over here which you can go get. We can actually see it from down there um, on, the, on the ledge. It's like, nah, I'm a heart piece and you can't get me. But then we go around and then we're like, oh no, you got me. I'm just being dumb now, aren't I? Um, you can use the beetle to get over to go to fly around here to get some rubies and hearts and stuff like that. Um, it's not really all that useful. I just felt like throwing it off. I've, I never do this on personal playthroughs, but I figured it's probably a good idea to go sew it off, because it is a thing after all. Can I just say I love the music in this area, so I'm going to set up for a moment so you guys can actually just do it. Um, this is one of my more favorite songs in Skyward Sword. Um, my absolute favorite one, we're not going to see for a little while, but this is one of my more favorite songs in the, in the game. It's a pretty fun song. And just like in Skyloft, uh, if you don't open your skill call in time, you will fall on your face. And we get a new type of material, the Elden Ore. As I've said plenty of times throughout this game, um, whenever I get new material, I'm going to be posting in the description all the locations you can find it. The goddess cube we're going to be getting right here. This is the first example of a goddess cube that has a treasure chest that we cannot get to. So when I get to that treasure, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to have an annotation on screen telling you where which. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to I'm probably going to have a. Um, I'm probably going to have a annotation uh, linking you to where that goddess cube was. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing this when we get to that point because I don't like using annotations. Um, but uh, but we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. 
Here, are these creeps just simmed on in and took over our territory. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so dot dot dot. Maybe they went up to the mountain from that way. Uh, wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. I'll do it eventually! <laughs> awesome points if you get that reference. I'm just handing out awesome points left and right today. Um, so, yeah, there's moblins right here. The first one you want to fight is up here because um, um, this moblin, if you do not take care of him um, and you fight all the rest of the other moblins, then he is going to be calling more because he is wearing a blue bandana. And uh, um, as I've said before, the blue bandana moblins, um, they are the ones who are going to be calling in um, some reinforcements uh, when you defeat the other moblins. And we get a new type of reward, while, a new type of material while we're fighting a bad guy. That's something that can, that's a, a kind of a nitpick I have about this game, um, is that, um, is that if you're fighting a bad guy and you get a reward, you're taking out of the battle to give you just to read a description, even if you've already gotten the item before. And it's just kind of annoying. You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us Mogamas owes honor our debt. Let us give you some useful, something useful to prove it. Any special regrets? Rubies! Huh? Rubies? Is that really what you're after? I mean, it gives reward at all, but really just rubies. Seems like it was a reward opportunity to me. I don't even have any. Oh wait, I know. I got something good instead. So hey, uh. I don't exactly have any rubies on me. But I got something better! Didn't you say you were looking for a friend? Well, I know something that can help you search your friend. Take these instead. With these, you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging into the hole below the ledge. You're in for a real surprise. I guess you could say we could totally dig this item. Get it? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna be quiet. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. Here's something. Everything's okay. So the digging myths right now. I'm gonna tell you guys that. Um, what they basically do is that when there are soft patches in the ground, um, we can pretty much dig up, uh, some rewards and stuff. It's like cutting up grass, except not as fun. Um, when we were in Skyview Temple, I pointed out there was one patch of grass, one patch of dirt that we couldn't do anything about. You can go back to Skyview Temple right now and look and dig, dig through that patch, but I'm not gonna be doing that right now. The reason we're going to be, uh, the reason is simple. I just don't wanna do that right now. Mobbing right there, which, which you're gonna destroy. Let's do it! Stupid wall, you're in my way! You ruined my dreams of destroying a mobbin with a fatal blow! Yeah, whatever. So, to get the reward of this area, you need to go down through the middle area. And we're doing it backwards, because we're epic. This is like really useful in this treasure chest, it's just the material. So as I was saying a moment ago, the digging myths, um, but they, uh, they're gonna become a lot more useful later on, and they're actually one of my more favorite items in the game. Even though at the beginning, they're not, they, they're not pretty all that great. Um, you just stick up some, um, air that you can use a sail cloth to glide around and stuff like that. Sticking up the sail cloth. Um, something really cool that they're going to be doing in Zelda U is that 
they're gonna be doing sort of what they did with the uh, with that one weird leaf thing in um, Wind Waker or um, the Deku Flower in Majora's Mask, where you'll be able to use Sail Cloth to actually glide around when you're jumping off ledges. Um, the Sail Cloth is a little restricted in this game because um, you can only go downward but, uh, with it, you cannot glide around or anything like that, but in Zelda U, you're going to be able to actually glide around, which is awesome! I'm so excited for Zelda U, that game is going to be... Uh, I'm really excited because it's a fully open world Zelda game, it's going to be epic and amazing stuff! You may notice a weird sound that a weird sound uh, can't we heard a weird sound when we hit that part of the wall. The law of Zelda, if the wall makes noise, it must die. Gonna be, it's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be pizza. It's gonna be Eggnog. It's a ruby. Well, we could still buy pizza and Eggnog with rubies, kind of. Yeah, whatever. Um, now we're, what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be getting out of this horrible place. We're gonna be using our digging mitts to dig one of these patches of dirt. I think it's this one. Look, I'm right. Yay, I'm right. The other one has some uh, other things like ribbons and stuff like that. Oh, this reminds me. Um, something that kind of interesting is that the is that the Mogama who explains the digging mid, um, he would point out that um, there used to, if you're playing on Heroes mode, he'll point out that there used to be hearts set in the area, but uh, but they have disappeared for some reason, referencing the fact that in Heroes mode there are no hearts to be found. So don't think that you can just dig up the hearts if you're playing on Heroes mode. Whoa! Now there's a green one. What if your people just came charging through the year? Just all in black. That friend of yours? Here comes the person in black. See that up ahead? There's, that's what we call drop dead drop end. This character deaths right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that? My jaw hit the dirt! So blowing up this boulder right here will um, act as a sort of a shortcut. Some boulders across the, the Elden Volcano, when you blow them up, but they'll, um, they can activate shortcuts. It's pretty much the equivalent to pushing the logs um, in the Farron Woods, where you push the log off a ledge, and, can, and when you revisit, visit the area, you can use that ledge to get across as sort of a shortcut. Hey! You, the goddess's chosen hero! Zelda is ahead. Hurry! We're gonna save that for the next video. So, thank you guys for watching this video of The Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword, and until next time, leave a to you. Oh yeah!